and Josie's in central Manchester at a church taking worship music to the next level. And where the pastors seem to want to steal our jobs. Oh, welcome to Songs of Praise this morning. It's great to have you with us. Welcome to Manchester, not the most recognisable part of the city, I'll grant you that, but today it's not about what you can see, it's about what you can hear, and this is no ordinary warehouse. It feels like you've walked into a rock concert, but it's Sunday morning and it's 10 a.m. and this is the audacious church. Jesus, we are, we are, we are fearless. We're living for, living for Jesus. In a time when some congregations are in decline, audacious has grown from 90 to well over 3,000 members in just eight years. Is there anybody here? Jesus this morning! Good morning, welcome to church. The church runs community projects and the services have all the traditional elements, including a sermon. I serve the man and the man has a plan. But it's the very contemporary sound of the music that stands out. The Bible talks about having shouts of joy, um, clapping hands, dancing, and so there is a real element of celebration in the Bible. I think when you understand what Jesus has done, how can you keep quiet? We really feel like that's the case. We, we can't be quiet, we can't shut up, but God is so great. I want to see every single person off their feet, front to back, one, two, three, go! you got here what was your first impression of it wow when we first came the music was a bit of a culture shock but you just sort of go with the flow i suppose in a way i mean as an african we <laughs> dance everything we sing everything they enjoy it because it's something different it's out of the ordinary the music's new, the music's fresh, so and that's why, you know, I certainly enjoy being here and why I know these guys do as well. To many, the songs in an audacious service may sound radical, but for the band who write them, the approach is nothing new. When you look at William Booth and the Salvation <coughs> Army and brass bands, that was, you know, the secular music of the time, and that was, you know, their way of getting people into the church, you know, was something yeah. that was familiar that they could understand yeah. and relate to. It's just all about finding a, a new and a fresh and a relevant um, expression of our worship and praise to God. With you having the stage, the lights, the music, how do you ensure that it is an act of worship and not a performance? We're not coming here just to have our own personal time. Like we're coming here to be a part of the church, part of the family, and we're worshiping together. And so there has to be an outward expression. And you could say, yes, it's performance, um, but not performance in the sense of, look at me, everyone, but it's actually, look at Jesus. They may not remember a sermon, even though I thought it was brilliant. What they're gonna remember is the songs that they're singing. And I think it was probably John Wesley who actually said, we learn our theology through the songs that we sing. We 